So did you guys know that between my first video on YouTube and now I've lost 70 pounds? I don't know how many of you watched my How I Bought 40 Rentals in uh, my first 40 Rentals video. If you've watched that, I'm a lot fatter. And I'm not gonna mince words, I was a lot bigger in that video. And between then and now, I've lost 70 pounds or so. And I'm gonna introduce you here in a couple seconds to my friend that um, is the reason for that. Everybody, I want you to meet my friend Eddie. Hey guys, and I've talked about him on the live stream more than once. Um, I'm going to flip it around here. I've talked about my friend Eddie on the live stream more than once. Um, I, 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 I've mentioned, I, I, I have a title for him, and I'm going to call him from now on my rich black friend. Um, <laughs> and Eddie is a really cool guy, and he's somebody that I want you all to know, but I had to come up with a project. I've had this idea and the fourth most, re most requested business that I start up on Investment Joy, it isn't the, uh, the um, car wash. Car wash is number three. You guys wanna see me open up a gym. I have no interest in it, but guess who does? Eddie has an interest in starting a gym. So how about if you guys, here's the deal. If you are interested in being part of a documentary startup fitness content. I want you to go down in the description and it'll be the first link and it's gonna take you to a page on investmentjoy.com and I want people to get involved with it. Um, there's gonna be an option to go to Discord, um, some, some stuff like that, but I wanna see how many of you guys would be interested in specifically a gym startup mini documentary. And by mini documentary, probably be like, five hours worth of content. And the reason I'm asking for this is there's no way that at least I know of on YouTube to send fitness content to the people that are, are watching my videos. Like half of my people, they only care about watching quarter collections. And that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not gonna tell you to, to, to not watch my videos, but I need to see who would be on board with getting a fitness, uh, a fitness documentary. So. Um, my friend Eddie right here, who's quiet, he's normally not this quiet, but he grew up in a little town that probably none of you have heard of called Cadiz. Is it Cadiz? He already mispronounced the name of my town. It is Cadiz, Ohio. It's Cadiz, Ohio. Here's our wonderful... <laughs> yeah, but trust me, you're not alone. Yeah, Cadiz, Ohio is just a little small rural uh, area in Harrison County, eastern Ohio. I like to tell people that... Uh, have never heard of Caddis. You know where Steubenville, Ohio is. Most people say yes, and I say Caddis is just right down the highway. So Okay. And Caddis is a poor little town outside Steubenville. And if you guys don't know where Steubenville is, a lot of people make fun of Dayton and Cleveland here in Ohio. Steubenville's worse. Right. It's like a nu economic nuclear bomb went off when the steel mills closed down, and that's where Eddie grew up. Tell us about um, your story, your upbringing, your parents, all that cool stuff. Ooh. Well, again, Brandon, you know, just understanding that I grew up in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. And, you know, at, back in that time, you know, you did have the steel mills, you had the coal mine. Uh, my father was a coal miner, retired as a coal miner. And uh, it just really was a booming area back then. But as times changed and the steel mills started to close down, the coal mine started to shut down. Things got a little tough back that way. Uh, but me personally, again, growing up as an only child, my parents always provided. But at the same time, the fact that we were in such a rural area, you know, there just wasn't a whole lot there. So as an only child growing up out in the country, you know, you, you learn to implement imagination. And I can tell you that, you know, I spent a lot of time just in creativity and just really understanding that uh, in order to, to find something that I was truly interested in, I had to come up with it on my own. And as I got older and started getting in, in, involved with athletics, Athletics, started getting involved with uh, really getting out into the world. I, I realized that that imagination that I had as a kid was going to benefit me in life because it really came to the point where I knew that doing the the everyday mundane day in and day out, as I like to say, cubicle wasn't for me. 
You know, I am someone who loves creativity and I love really trying to find something that is, is more about serving people and, and more about just having fun. So, again, as a business mindset, that's really where, you know, it all started as a kid, just enjoying you know, just being uh, creative and, and figuring out how to entertain myself. I can keep uh, but, you know, just to kind of give you a more understanding of where I came from, you know, as a blue collar uh, community. Hard work and work ethic is something that we all had ingrained in us as a young age. You know, again, I talk about athletics and sports. I was fortunate enough to become one of those standout athletes, uh, worked really hard, uh, became a, an All-American, became a record holder, inducted into Hall of Fames. And it wasn't just because of my talent, but it was also because of my work ethic. And that's the same work ethic that I put into my businesses these days. Remind me, you worked in a coal mine. Oh, yeah. I try, I try not he, to remember. He worked in days. a coal mine. You know, I spent five years underground, you know, but again, when you, th when you talk about where I came from, you know, that community was all based off of either we were working in the coal mine or you worked in the steel mill. Uh, and I, I did, I chose the coal mine and I can tell you this, man, you know, five years underground, it was, it was an amazing opportunity to really experience just teamwork and community. Because what a lot of people don't understand is that underground, you know, you are in a, a group of, of typically it was men. I mean, there were a couple of females that worked there, but it's a group of guys who all depend on each other for safety and all depend on each other to walk back out of that coal mine. So again, you become really close and it really becomes a, a really tight knit community. But yeah, Working underground is unlike any experience that most people will ever see. And, and just like me, Eddie has all these crazy stories. He told me this one time about uh, him wrecking a Z28 Camaro. <laughs> how, how, what year was that? Uh, hopefully no one in law enforcement is watching this because I, I actually kind of got The statute of limitations <laughs> has expired on this. Yeah, I was, uh, I was that young young guy who likes speed. And, uh, yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to purchase a Camaro. It was a 97, actually, 97th 97. anniversary. Okay. Had the embroidered C's pearl white. Absolutely love that car. And uh, one day... I was uh, kind of out and about. Uh, now, again, I will say this as a disclaimer, I was doing nothing inappropriate except for At the time driving while under suspension. Okay. <laughs> I was Only driving under suspension. Yeah, he was, was not speeding. There was no there. Were, there was no rock involved or spoons involved. Nothing. It's, remember, this is country in the state of Ohio. <laughs> right. Right. So I was Just driving. Time. I was driving under suspension. I had lost my license. And uh, as I'm coming through town, uh, the lights kind of came on on the patrol car. Now, as I told Brandon at that time, again, small country town, everyone knows everybody. I was in pretty good with with the local PD. But at that time, our police department was going through a strike. So they had a whole lot of uh, um, contractors coming in from out of town. So I knew that whoever turned those lights on didn't know me. So quick thought, quick judgment. I decided Camaro, cop car, I'm out of here. <laughs> so I did. I took off and I, I pretty much dusted him. But again, when you talk about a small town, I'll also a lot of dirt roads. And unfortunately, I, I met up with one of those dirt roads and yeah. the outcome wasn't too good. Yeah, it wasn't too good. We won't go into the details, at least in this video. Yeah. But suffice to say, Eddie's kind of like a, a rural Ohio country boy. And he's had this dream, a big dream of starting a gym. And I've, I've been working out with Eddie for a few years. About, it's about two years now. And um, he's dreamed of starting a gym. So we want to do this like mini documentary or m big documentary. Maybe it's a, a real deal. Oh, my gosh. I can't find this. I mean, it, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm trying to lift this phone up. It's hurting my hand, to be honest with you. Uh, but he's wanted to do this gym startup. And I thought, how cool would it be? to utilize my YouTube channel to help Eddie over here start a gym. Right. And what I need you guys to do is go down to the comment section. Um, the Webull link will be down there so I can make extra money off this video. Watch the YouTube ads, but click on that link. We're not going to be asking for any money or anything like that, at least offhand. But um, what, what I want to do is see how many of you guys would be interested in either watching or being committed to being some, how, somehow involved, I don't know how to word it exactly, but I'm here, I want to shoot the content anyway, on a fitness documentary, gym startup, um, even detailing how to get Eddie the seed money for a gym. I have a accepted offer on a 30,000 square foot warehouse here in town that might be a good candidate for Eddie to start his gym, but um, I don't know that there's interest in that. Just, you know, it's the fourth most, fourth most requested thing here on Investment Joy to do a gym startup. 
I don't want to do it, I'll be involved. But would you guys like to see Eddie start up a gym or try to start up a gym and have the whole process documented? Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the metrics so more people can see Eddie, even people that don't subscribe to the channel. It helps the algorithm. So um, this is Brandon and Eddie here with Investment Joy. Uh, thanks for watching. Long story short, um, I've got almost everything set up for the live stream, but I'm still in negotiations with some extra special people about the live stream slash gym project. Um, I wanted to get this video out to you guys before it gets too old. We're at the first of the year. I actually shot it three weeks ago, uh, way before the New Year's. So everybody's wanting to get wealthy and fit this year and they've got goals. So Hit the link below. Um, it's investmentjoy.com slash gym. Sign up. Um, it's a single purpose form. I'm not going to spam you or email you. And if you so choose, you can just do the Discord chat. And um, we've got an extra special uh, members only thing. Once again, this, this is free um, for you guys to do. It's just that I need a way to notify people of when we start pushing out the content because it's probably going to be a multi-stream on more than one platform. It's, it's not going to be YouTube only, um, which will be, I think, a really interesting project for us to do. So uh, once again, this is Brandon with Investment Joy. Be sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Once again, this is just part one of Eddie's Gym Startup. Uh, part two will be coming up probably the end of the month.